everyone. Welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for your Monday, March 23rd, 2020. Please keep in mind that time is an illusion and energies are fluid. So just because this is dated for the 23rd of March, it does not mean that it absolutely has to resonate for you at, t at that time. Whenever you are guided to watch this reading and it resonates for you, then that is the message for you at that moment. Also keep in mind that this is a general reading, okay? So it, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Everything is not going to resonate with everyone, yeah? So um, I'm come, I didn't do morning coffee. I'm not doing this live today because I have some announcements that I wanna make that um, I wanna give everyone an equal opportunity to um, hear, yes, when I, in, in the beginning of the message. So bear with me, this is going to take a few minutes. Anyway, um, so this week is, this is the last full week of March. And so this week I'm going to be starting on the monthly readings for the zodiac signs. Um, so I'm gonna start that today. So around, I, f I feel like around 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time is when I'm gonna go, go live and I'm gonna go and I'm gonna do the Aries reading. Um, and I'm kind of planning on getting through, I'm gonna try to get through three readings a day, um, but uh, I'm gonna do my best to keep to that schedule because there is another element to the situation. So I have a Patreon account now that if you would like to be a supporter, if you would like to subscribe and, and um, you know, be a part of my Patreon situation, the link can be to that can be found in the description box below, but it is patreon.com slash divine conversations. The D and the C in divine conversations, I believe needs to be capitalized um, in order to get to my page. Uh, but the link can be found in the description box below. And for the monthly readings this week, this month for April, I'm doing things a little bit the same, but a little bit different. So it's the same format as I did for the month of March. However, for YouTube, I'm only going to be doing the general messages, yes? And then love is going to be a separate one that's gonna be available on Patreon. So if you want to get your love messages for the month of April and beyond, go ahead and um, sip and uh, join the Patreon uh, community and you will have access to monthly love readings for the Zodiac signs. Um, I'm also going to be doing the Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine readings through Patreon. I will still be going on YouTube to do the general reading for Twin Flames, but specific Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine readings are going to be found on Patreon. Um, also, there are some other perks there that you want that um, you may want. So again, go ahead and check that out. So today, I'm going to be doing the general readings for at, definitely at least Aries and um, Taurus. I might be able to get to Gemini today. And then the love messages will be found on Patreon for that. Yeah. Really super excited to start Patreon. Um, there, I want to be, I'm going to, so I decided to go with Patreon instead of YouTube. If you guys have been following throughout the year, you know that I've been kind of trying to figure out how I want to handle it and basically youtube has memberships which is just like patreon but actually patreon is going to give me a little more flexibility so i'm going to go with them um, but i'm super excited to start that so please go ahead and follow me there i doubt that i'm going to be doing morning or happy hour this week because of the fact that i'm going to be working on these zodiac readings and i am still available to schedule a, a private reading with people but I'm not going to, unless I've already spoken to you about, you know, we've already scheduled something for this week or, or we've already started discussing it. Any new personal readings that come in are going to start to be scheduled for at least next week, just so that I can make sure that I have enough time and energy to get through what I need to get through this week. Yes. Um, sorry, guys, allergies. I think that's it. Yeah, that's all I have for right now. So if I have any more, I'll either tell you later or I'll post it or something. Yeah. Anyway, I hope you guys had a good weekend. We're still in this whole 
lockdown energy and it seems that the lockdown is going to get a little stronger this coming week but hey it's okay guys we're gonna get through this i promise um okay of course of course now my nose is acting up hold on let me blow my nose real quick okay guys we're back so with that said let's get straight into it Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for our Monday, March 23rd, 2020. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, kids. Um, so I'm actually going to start with the Angel Answers deck today. If you have a question, a pressing question that you would like to ask and that you are, would like to receive some sort of guidance with from the Angels, uh, Angel Answers deck, I highly recommend that you take a second and get that question. Um, and if you don't have a specific question and you just want to let the messages flow then I encourage you to do that as well, yeah? I'm gonna give this two more shuffles. And then we'll just see. What messages do you have for the collective today, please, Spirit? Yeah, I definitely feel that there's a very pressing question on the collective mind right now. Okay, and we have first card out, we have listen to your intuition. now. The pressing question that I feel is on the mind and I guess on the heart of the collective is how to handle what's going on in life right now with this whole coronavirus situation and how things are mm -hmm, and how things are developing. I'm gonna get three more here. All right, so first out, we have listen to your intuition, we have yes, and we have get more information. So already what I'm getting with this is that the angels are asking you to continue listening to your intuition because whatever it is you've been feeling, you've been getting this intuitive hit, uh, whether it's good or bad, um, or at least perceived to be good or bad in this moment, uh, spirit is saying yes, Okay, yes, listen to your intuition about this, okay? I do feel like on a positive note here, this does, oh my God, this glare, hold on. Um, on a positive note, this does feel like it's actually, like something isn't necessarily as bad as you may think it is. And if something seems extremely bad, like you're looking at it and your intuition is saying to you, um, this is something we need to handle, this is something we need to take care of, it's still not as bad as you might think because then you also have get more information. So I feel like whomever is asking whatever whatever question is being asked here, it's kind of oops, it's kind of a situation where it's like, okay, well, this is a pressing matter or this is something that needs to be handled. But quite frankly, your ego is getting too is getting in the way too much. Okay, listen to your intuition, listen to the guidance from the angels, because it's not as bad as you think. It's just something that needs to be handled. And for a lot of us, I feel like, you know, the, with what's going on lately, you know, with the coronavirus and, and, you know, a lot of the country is like shutting down and shuttering up, you know, to help stop the spread of this virus. So that means that a lot of people are out of work or things aren't necessarily as they should be or as they normally have been. But also on top of that, Spirit is saying things are not as they seem because the big message that's been coming through, not just through my readings, but through other sources of information completely removed from me, right? They're saying the same thing. This is a time period where we are having the opportunity to get back into alignment with who we truly are and what it is we really want to be doing. So. If you have lost your job at this point, or you have, you're in a place where it's like, okay, you might still have a job, but you don't know when you're gonna be able to go back to that. And you're basically cooped up at home in quarantine. Now is the time to really start putting forth the effort, making moves in doing things that you really actually want to be doing. 
And for some of you, I feel like once you get the ball rolling here in this time period, in terms of whatever it is that you want to be doing or you feel like you need to have been doing all along and you just never did it, you may find that once things really start balancing out and the the country and our nation or our society even, because this is a worldwide shutdown that's happening right now. It's not just happening in the United States. But once you know human civilization starts to come out of their hermit shell, you may find that you don't want to go back to that job. See, <laughs> as soon as I said that, success came out, all right? I want to get one more card here for you. You, you really may find either, you'll see, either you're settled into this new life or you're settled into this new habit, this new goal, this new career, this new project. And by the time things start to thaw out, right, you may, you may be so, so far along that you don't want to go back or you find that you can't go back or whatever. I mean, things are not as bad as they seem. All right. Listen to your intuition. One more card, please, spirit. One more card for the collective today. Just one more, please. Here it is. Let go. Bottom of the deck is don't stop. Don't stop now. I mean, you can't. There really is no point to stop. There is no reason to stop at this at, right now. I mean, you can't go back. We can't go back to the time where this virus didn't take over and things weren't, you know, seemingly going down the shitter. You can't go back in time and change the government's response to all of this so that things don't have, didn't have to shut down so hard. You can't, I mean, you, it's time, so, I mean, spirit says, right, and then there's no need to worry at the bottom of the deck, at opportunity. Look, look, there's no need to worry, but don't stop now because you can't, technically you can't stop. There's no reason to stop, all right? Then there's also no need to worry. This is a time of opportunity because there is, in fact, something better, and you need to just remain positive because a peaceful resolution is coming. The situation will improve. Underneath the situation will improve is abundance, okay? I mean... This is a time to let go and listen to your intuition, okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. And okay, so this might seem extreme, but this is kind of how it feels. This is a situation or a time period where the humans or humans or the, the whatever, we are in this period where we're being forced out of our comfort zones. We're being forced out of our shells. We're being forced systematically to look at things differently and to change our reality, to change the situation, to change how we react to things, to change how we associate with things, to change how we live our lives. And yes, this can be seen as a very extreme situation because, you know, we're, we're our, our society is literally being shut down right now. So something's got to change, you know? And it's very much a situation where, like, we don't get the message until we have some extreme tower moment and now we're scrambling to make a change. But it's kind of how humans work lately. <laughs> oh, well. Okay, so moving forward, um, I want to look at, look, listen to your intuition. But I want to get some keywords from the Sacred Destiny Oracle. One last shuffle here. Oh, so I do want to say, with the whole Patreon thing, I have a few things that are uh, that are listed as perks. Go ahead and check out the page, and you'll see under the tier. Um, you know, it describes what tier. I only have one tier right now on Patreon, but um, among other, all the stuff that's listed there, I do want, I am going to be offering like special extended readings. So like say with the monthly reading, um, I'm doing the general energy and something really interesting or intriguing or really powerful or something really pressing comes through and I want to dive deeper into it. That will most likely move to an extended version of that reading. Yeah. So, um, this is a brand new thing. I'm definitely going to be expanding it as time goes on. I have branding situations that I'm starting to work on. So 
the more that I have for you guys, the more that I'm going to offer. Yeah, so I'm really excited about the whole Patreon thing. I'm finally, <laughs> finally getting in on that, but um, it's going to be fun. I'm, I'm really excited about it. Yeah, so definitely go and check that out. Okay, so let's talk about listen to your intuition. I want to see what exactly this card or what the spirit means by this. What is your intuition saying to you right now? Listen to your intuition. What is this? Listen to your intuition. For the collective spirit. What is listen to your intuition here? Ooh. Okay. Bottom of the deck is pleasure. So I know it seems like it's a, this, isn't, this is not the time for it, but actually on the contrary, it, this is the time. This is a time for pleasure. This is a time to work on trying to enjoy yourself, especially since you have going, you're going through, we're all going through a pretty massive transformation right now, okay? And what's necessary is stillness. There are some of you out there that are trying too hard to make something happen. I'm hearing make ends meet. Okay, that makes sense. But there really isn't much that you can do about it right now. And thus, there is, you're stressing yourself out in some cases. So for some of you, you really just need to be still and allow this transformation to just flow. Go with the flow here, okay? We have community, we have adventures, and we have miracles, all right? Um, so as a community, as a society, as a whole, we are all going through this crazy adventure right now. I mean, it's freaking nuts, right? Okay. But it's also a part of the transformation that's happening here. And the more still you are able to be, the more in, the, in a place of stillness and calmness that you can be in, the stronger or the more open and available you will be to miracles coming in and happening. But when you're struggling against the energy and when you're in your, in your ego's flaring up and it's like, I, I can't do this, I don't wanna do this, how are we gonna do this? Then you're throwing resistance into the situation when it really could be helping you change, go through a massive transformation, okay? This is a good thing, you guys. I promise you, I promise you this really can turn out to be a good thing if you allow yourself to be. I'm hearing also if you change your perspective and see things from a different point of view, instead of looking at it at what you've lost or what you are losing, instead look at it as, or at least try to look at it point of view of like, oh, actually, what am I able to gain from all of this? And one of the main things that I heard from that just now was freedom. Wow. <laughs> okay. With that said, I want to look at let go here and I want to work. I want to see if I can get a little bit of a storyline from the um, energy oracle deck and then I'll probably clarify with the tarot. But actually, I'm going to I think I want to clarify a number of things with the tarot. All right, we're gonna start with let go, and then I think I wanna look at get more information. Okay, so let go, spirit. What is let go here for the collective? What are we letting go of? What do we need to let go of? Or what do you wanna to say to us or to the collective about this let go energy? The think that's really interesting. That is very interesting because I kind of saw the thinking man in my, in my head. Why is the thinking man here in terms of letting go? Envy. Okay. Um, ah, uh, yes. And adjacent possibilities. Okay. Ah, look at that. Woman holding a coin is at the bottom of the deck here. All right. So this is definitely still... Oh boy, this is still a product of the energy, certain individuals or beings or entities or energies being envious, being envious of the rise of this rise of divine feminine power, all right? 
we have the queen we, well i do kind of see this as a queen of pentacles energy but we have the woman holding a coin and then right underneath woman holding a coin on the bottom of the deck we have door to value and we have magician in the mirror we also have contract interesting uh-huh we have contract here okay underneath contract is financial constraints and then underneath that is man holding a coin and then underneath that is healer of the ages but what i'm getting here is there is definitely some envy some jealousy some some narcissism floating around here and that's mainly because we are in a period where we are rising out of the whole patriarchal system okay you can see i can really see um hi guys sorry i was scratching my head i can really see the thinking man as this representation of patriarchal society a representation of um uh dominant masculine energy or dominance in the realms of thought rather than the realms of or rather than a balance between the realms of thought and emotion right but now that the f divine feminine energy is on the rise and is really starting to ground herself in society and we're really in this period of learning to flow rather than be so action oriented all the time we're in this period of balancing masculine and feminine energy there are certain individuals that are really like really doing the damn thing like really doing the damn thing okay woman holding a coin door to value magician in the mirror and thus it's creating this envy because it's like well wait a second how can you do this you're not following the rules that this energy um spirit wants to say patriarchal society is laying out for you so how are you how are you benefiting from all these adjacent possibilities like how are you finding doorways there you're not supposed you're not supposed to find a doorway there you're not supposed to find a pathway there you're not supposed to find an opportunity there but this is the energy that we're needing to let go of because life is not meant to be cookie cutter is not meant to be one size fits all it's not the type of situation where you can go to one central hub and they define your life for you or they define your path for you or they define your work for you no you do that for yourself once you do that and you release all of this logical emphasis, overemphasis on logic, you do have, you manifest, you literally, you literally manifest, you open your door to value and you manifest adjacent possibilities. But this is why spirit is saying, listen to your intuition get more information because yes success is possible but in order for you to reach your success you have got to let go and embrace embrace and manifest your adjacent possibilities make sense 23 23 on the counter that's a five Ooh. This is good, you guys. This is really, really good. Now, with the conch... Okay, so back to what I was saying at the bottom of the deck dough. We, deck dough. <laughs> we have contract here, all right? Financial constraints and then man holding a coin. So a lot of the envy could be coming from the masculine side. Potentially your masculine counterpart if you are associated with the whole twin flame thing or blah 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 or you have this whole divine counterpart situation going on it could very well be that the masculine is finding that he or she is going through some sort of financial constraints right now but it all has to do with the contract and i feel like for some of you specifically the contract is now null and void because of whatever went down between the two of you and this by contract i mean soul contract okay um, and because of that, now the feminine here may be going off on her own, doing her own thing, living her own life, being her own person. And because of how things went down, the contract is now null and void. And the masculine could de definitely be dealing with some sort of financial constraints. 
Okay. Now, the other thing that I'm picking up on here is on a collective scale, um, this patriarchal energy or this man, this thinking man energy or this overly logical uh, emphasis on, on the mind rather than balancing the mind with the heart, letting the heart lead the way and the mind just being a, 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 a tool to help the heart make sense of what's going on and make some balanced decisions, of course. <clears throat> um, this whole financial constraints energy has to do with the way we have been hoarding money, the way we have been selfish, the way we have been egotistical, the way we have been miserly, the way, you know, the way we have been greedy. But it's, but what we're needing to do is balance the masculine with the feminine so that we can not only open this door to value, but keep it open, keep it flowing. open the floodgates of abundance for everyone. But you see, there's envy, there's definitely envy because the masculine energies or our patriarchal society or our overly controlling and dominating society thinks that they have all the answers. And all the answers are not meant to come from one source. There are two parts to this. There are two sides to every, there are two parts to the main whole, masculine and feminine. You can't have one without the other. And so when you try to live in a reality or a life that values one over the other, you get an imbalanced situation. And then eventually the situation has to balance out. And for a while, there's going to be some envious energy because it's like, how are you doing that all on your own? Well, actually, I'm not doing it all on my own. I'm just balancing the energies and going with the flow and letting go. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay, let's get to the, to, to the tarot now. I don't really even know what I want to start with here. All right, let's keep, let's continue talking about let go because one of the first things I was pulled towards is the envy card here. All right, 27, 27. I'm gonna give this one more shuffle. And then we're gonna look, talk about envy. Okay, so why is envy here for the collective? What else do you wanna tell us about that, please, spirit? Envy, why is envy here? Oh. Yeah, we have the chariot, we have the queen of swords, we have judgment, holy shit. We also have the seven of swords and the three of cups. Oh, with justice at the bottom of the deck, look at that. All right, kids, so check it out. So we have, the, okay, so here we are. Here are the envious ones, the three of cups with the seven of swords. There are people around you, or at least there have been people around you, that have seemingly been cheering for you while secretly waiting to sabotage you. Or it could be that they would only cheer for you, they're only cheering you on, they're only on your side when you're doing things that they find acceptable or you're keeping with the status quo or whatever. This is, the Three of Cups is definitely a hive mind mentality, okay? But here you are with the Chariot, the Queen of Swords and Judgment. You've woken up judgment okay you've heard the higher calling you found a higher passion or you found your higher calling whatever and because of that now you have cut you have removed things out of your way very queen of swords like and it's not even like i'm trying to be a di diplomatic here because no we know exactly at this point we know exactly what's going on we know exactly what's going on three of cups seven of swords so bye felicia because I heard my higher calling. I know what my truth is, or I at least know, have a better idea of what direction I need to be going in. And so I'm gonna do that, the chariot. Balanced, harmonious, balance between masculine and feminine, balance between positive and negative, light and dark, emotionally balanced, emotionally secure, secure within the self, connected to the self, 
connected to your higher calling, connected to your higher self, connected to your higher wisdom, connected to what it is that really truly fulfills you and makes you happy. And thus you're moving forward. Some of you are already in this energy and are actually moving forward with this chariot energy. Others of you are kind of getting there. You may still have some things that you need to cut out of your life in order to clear space for you to, to regain your energy, pull your energy back and move forward. Others of you are still trying, are still kind of hearing this wake up call with judgment. And your advice here is to just cut, don't even, don't even give it a second thought. Because whatever is coming through with this awakening, with this judgment energy, with this wake up call, it's showing you exactly what you need to do and who you need to cut out, what you need to remove, be removing from your situation so that you can move forward confidently. This chariot energy feels very much like not absolutely not caring what anyone else has to say about it. You are following your heart through and through, through thick and thin, 100%, and nothing's gonna stop you. Because you are in alignment with your truth or you are meant to be getting in alignment with or you are getting in alignment with. And by mean, and when I mean meant to be getting in alignment with, that is what this awakening is. That is what this higher calling it is. That's what this alarm is, that this, this, this wake up call. It's asking you to get in alignment and cut away anything and everything that is no longer serving you. The Queen of Swords is not as diplomatic as the King. All right. As soon as she sees something that sees that something is a waste of time, she's going to treat it accordingly and no longer waste her time with it. And in some cases, this is a situation where she may not even tell you because having to try to have a conversation with you about it is a waste of time. <laughs> you know, she's kind of like a ghost energy. She can be she can ghost you. I hope no one takes offense to this, but one of the one of the um the ways I'm I'm feeling to describe this kind of like ghosting like energy of the Queen of Swords is like an Irish goodbye. Have you ever heard of an Irish goodbye? Apparently, an Irish goodbye is and and I mean I'm I'm part Irish. My grandmother on my mother's side was Brooklyn Irish. She was born and raised in Brooklyn, but her her family migrated, but. Anyway, and I've done this many a time, but it's like you're out, you're hanging out with your friends and you're drunk and then you, you are like, okay, I got to go home now, but you don't say anything to anybody about it. You just dip. Next thing you know, people look around and he's like, oh, so-and-so is gone. Irish goodbye. <laughs> I, don't, I don't mean that in any sort of offensive way. Um, but that's kind of the energy that I was getting from this Queen of Swords. It's like literally you realize that it's time for you to go or it's time to put an end to something. And instead of having a discussion about it, instead of saying goodbye, instead of having closure or whatnot, you just dip. But look, don't stop and don't turn back because this is bringing justice into your life and is giving you the opportunity to take a leap of faith with the fool because you are putting an end. Ooh, yes, honey, you are putting an end, 10 of swords and death and putting an end to the pain and the strife and the trifle and energy and going through a transformation that is leading you to your wish fulfillment, the star. So keep your boundaries up, seven of wands. Okay. All right, next thing I wanna look at is miracles specifically. So in terms of miracle spirit, what do you want to tell us? Why is miracles here? And miracles came out while we were clarifying, listen to your intuition. So we have the Knight of Pentacles. Ooh, and we have the lovers. Wow. Okay. With temperance at the bottom of the deck so far, but I am wanting to get one more card here for miracles. We have the Knight of Pentacles and the lovers so far with the Six of Pentacles. Ah, and now the Page of Cups is at the bottom of the deck. All right. So check it out. Miracles can, in fact, happen, will happen, okay, if you choose from the heart. This is not necessarily a time to think, to think practically, not necessarily in terms of the decision that you're trying to make in what is in alignment with you. The practicality comes into play with the Knight of Pentacles when you're saying to yourself, Okay, how do we make this happen? Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles is speaking to 
Now, oh, I'm, I'm sorry. We have the lovers here, and I feel like I want to dis explain this before I go any further. The lovers is, yes, is a, it tends to be a romantic card, but the lovers is about a choice. And I see the lovers as a choice between vice or virtue. Vice being what everyone else wants, virtue being what your heart wants, right? And so with the message that I was getting there was when in terms of trying to make a decision about what it is your heart is telling you, what it is your heart is leading you towards, what it is you truly want to be doing, that's not a time to be practical. Because, you're, it, it, because it may seem to your logical mind or to this energy of the thinking man, which is buried down here, you know, that we're, we're working on alleviating some of that, right? And balancing it out more with emotion and intuition and feeling. It might seem to that logical aspect of yourself that whatever it is your heart is calling you towards is impractical, is undoable. But that's not the case. Use the mind instead to say, okay, my heart is saying let's go in this direction, so how do we make that happen? Slowly and steadily wins the race here. That is what's going to help bring miracles to fruition. But that's not the only thing. Service. Six of Pentacles. When you focus on being of service and focus on serving the highest good, the greatest good of all, you open more pathways and more doorways to even more miracles. You could even call this six of pentacles energy or this reciprocity, reciprocal energy or this energy of being of service to people as like the secret sauce to, you, to the manifestation of your miracles. Because what you put out there is what you will get back. Okay. And that's not just like some silly you know, pipe dream of a of guidance. No, that's really that's really true, you guys. Whatever energy you put out into this into, into the world, into that you know, out into the universe is that which you receive back. Okay. So if you want to receive good things, you should be putting good things out. Get it? Okay, good. <laughs> Okay. Trying to figure out, it's time to close out the reading here. I don't know which deck I want to use though. Let's go with the Gaia Oracle today. Okie dokie. What is our guidance for today? Oracle guidance, please, spirit, for the collective to close out this message for today. It is right there. Card number 40, yin yang, create, creating harmony through balance. Beautiful. And it's funny because the main central message or theme around this message today has been balancing out the mind and the heart, balancing the masculine and the feminine. Mm-hmm. My, my, my. Isn't that just convenient? <laughs> there is currently disharmony in some area of your life due to your refusal to accept certain aspects about your personality or of your personality. Nothing about you is bad. Every trait or quality you possess serves a worthwhile purpose. Moreover, any trait or quality that you think you lack, you actually have. Make a list of all the things that you, about you that you don't like. Then think about how each of these things serves you and others in some way. Next, make a list of all the things you like, to, you like about yourself. 
it is natural to believe that your positive qualities undoubtedly serve both you and others. However, for every perceived positive, there is also a negative. Now think about the negative aspects of your perceived positivities. This process takes a bit of time and requires an open heart and mind. It is definitely a worthwhile exercise for, in the end, you will hopefully see that nothing is actually good or bad. Every aspect of you serves both you and others. Owning, accepting, and loving what is without wanting to change it will lead you to experience a happier, healthier, and more harmonious life. Your affirmation is, I love and accept all that I am. There is nothing to change. There is only love. Every aspect of me serves both me and others in some way. I create health, wealth, and harmony by loving what is. All I accept and love transforms to ever greater love. Let's say that one more time. I love and accept all that I am. There is nothing to change. There is only love. Every aspect of me serves both me and others in some way. I create health, wealth, and harmony by loving what is. All I accept and love transforms to ever greater love. So there you have it, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Um, stay tuned because I am going to be going live today starting around 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Starting with Aries for the monthly readings. We're doing the general reading. And then the love reading for Aries will be up on Patreon later on in the day. And keep um, key stay tuned because I'm going to be doing this throughout the week. And also, um, I'm adding, I'm looking to add Ophiuchus into the situation. So if you are, if you resonate with the sign of Ophiuchus, if you've been looking for a reading for Ophiuchus, then you are in luck because I will be adding you to the roster this month. Yeah. All right, everyone. I hope you all have a fantastic day. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning. Yeah. Take care. Mm -hmm. Bye.